Hello, Geek Army. This is Kyle and Alex with GeeksWithGames.com. We're doing our official after-action review on Defiance. Uh, Defiance is a third-person shooter MMO being developed and released by Tryon Worlds. It's coming out on Windows PC, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. Uh, the game's scheduled for an April 2nd release, and one of the more fascinating things about this particular title is it also has an accompanying TV show on the Sci-Fi Network coming out on April the 15th. Uh, one of my biggest things that I am impressed about this game is how beautiful it is, but it's still not overly demanding on your PC. I don't have the biggest top-of-the-line PC right now. It was built about two or three years ago. I'm running an Athlon 2x3, so that's a triple-core version, like 3.4 gigahertz, 6 gigs of RAM, and a 6 AMD 6850 video card. I was able to play smoothly throughout the whole thing, even in large arc fall fights. Only small frame rate drops, but it was all completely playable. Uh, so I think we're going to be very impressed with this game. I was very impressed with the game as well. Running it on my system, I ran across no issues whatsoever. It ran at 60 frames per second, recorded at 60 frames per second, never dropped. I'm running a GTX 660 and i7, so I never ran into any problems while I was playing this game. Had everything maxed out, and it ran beautifully. Let's talk about the objective. What you do in the game. The objective... It's evolving because what happens in the game can change due to what happens in the show. So there's still a lot of main missions, side missions. Um, our main mission so far, since we've only been playing the beta and we've played it for what, maybe six, seven, eight hours, the main missions were a lot of rescue mission, intel gathering, kill the bad guys, things you would expect um, in a game like, say, Borderlands. But there's also a lot of side missions that you would get in, say, like a game like an MMO, like World of Warcraft. A lot of the side missions are pretty standard. Kill the bad guys, gather intel, collect stuff, go to A and B, all that fun stuff. It's a persistent world. So with the side missions, you can just be running along on your way to another mission and just stumble across this thing or see some other players live action uh, in a side mission. And you can decide to help them. This also just happens all the time, even in the tutorial mission. So when we were first starting out, uh, we thought we are just going to get your standard tutorial taken away from the actual engine. This is how you run, jump, whatever. So we're doing the tutorial, learning about our heads-up display, and the NPC enemy characters start attacking us uh, just mid-tutorial. So we're like, wow, this really is a persistent world. It's a new type of MMO that I haven't played before and I think is going to be very, very impressive. Uh, the gameplay is just something new. It's, like we said, a little bit like Borderlands. It's a little bit like Planet Side 2, but it's all its own. The developers actually call it a third-person MMO with strengths on the third-person shooter first. Uh, you still have a lot of MMO-type uh, interactions, like with the items. Uh, you go through and you fight a character or you fight an enemy, they drop some items. You have your rarities, uncommons, common, uh, rare, and so on. Um, one thing that we did find in game is that you're able to purchase some rare items through these things called lockboxes. It's kind of like a slot machine. Uh, you pay a certain amount of unique uh, in-game currency that you can find from the arcs or you can pay real money to get more currency. And those give you the slot machine of one, two, three, four uncommon items at least. And so you have that extra boost that you're playing in game. As far as the difficulty in this game, there was a curve later on in the main storyline. The game started off pretty easy as in most MMOs, most shooters. It starts out kind of easy so you can figure out the game. As you're going along the story mode, it gets progressively harder like you expect in most games. But there was one point where we were on a mission and all of a sudden all the baddies were just incredibly difficult. Uh, we were still able to push through, finish that up. But it was definitely an indication that we need to go back and do some side missions so we can kind of beef up a little bit. So there is a slight little bit of grind every here and there. But the side missions and whatnot are not boring. And they're not uh, disinteresting. So you still want to do them, whether you need to or not. Let's talk about the sound. I was very impressed with the sound in this game. I thought the developers did a really good job on the sounds of the weapons as well as the soundtrack. Like, for instance, the rifles and shotguns actually sounded like rifles and shotguns. You don't get that a whole lot in games. The soundtrack is normally ambient in just, you know, kind of a background noise, but it's not overbearing, and it definitely helps with the mood when it kicks up due to an arc fall or a battle with mutants and raiders. For its genre, the graphics are great. The landscape is appealing, the effects are very good, and the characters look outstanding. There are some areas 
that do need a little polish and there are some areas where the graphics are a little glitched but they are far and few between and overall I really thought the graphics were on this game were really good. Uh, with the graphics, as he said, there were one or two spots uh, that could use some polishing. We were standing on a wall and saw some minor glitches, but that was about it. The game as a whole is ready for release in the next couple of weeks. I'm very excited for it to come out, and I think this game's going to be around for a while. So after having our chance with the beta, I really think this game is going to appeal to both the shooters and the MMO players. I was a big fan of Borderlands 1 and 2 as I like having a carrot dangled in front of me saying go ahead and run this way, you don't have to worry about grinding. But there's still a whole lot of MMO aspects in this game, you can always jump in, there's going to be constant action, so I think this is going to be one that sticks around for a while and gets a pretty good following. I think one great thing to mention about this game as it is an MMO, once you buy the game, you don't have to pay again. There will be some DLCs or expansions. We're not quite sure what it's going to be or what the scope of it will be, but there will be some later on. And having played a lot of co-op games and MMO games, it really has been a while since the game held my attention for this long. So I think this game will have a lot of replayability. One way to describe the game would be like if Borderlands and Starship Troopers had a baby and it was raised by Planet Side 2, you would get Defiance. But that really only describes part of the game because it really is unique on what you can do and how you do it. The game really appeals to a large group of people. Anyone who likes shooters, co-op games, or MMOs will probably enjoy Defiance. And even as a co-op game, you don't have to worry about finding a mission, finding a lobby and waiting and then going to do that one mission and then your co-op experience is over. Uh, so as an overall, I think I'm going to give this game an 8.5 out of 10. I'm very, very entertained with it. I'm excited. And it would get a 9 if it had some of these small glitches polished out. Um, one of the major glitches that I hopefully is just because it was in beta, I was playing through a main story mission, completed the mission, but it didn't register and I had to go back and do it again. A bonus, since I already completed the mission, I got to keep all of the mission drop items, so I was able to fly through there without any problems a second time around, but hopefully that'll get ironed out in the beta. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna agree with you on that. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten as well. It's really been a long time since the game kept me engaged for a long period of time. No matter what we were doing or where we were, there was always something to do. It was very much an enjoyable game, and I will continue to be playing it. So eight and a half, I think that is definitely a fair assessment. Well, thank you for your time, Geek Army. This has been Kyle and Alex with GeeksWithGames.com. If you have any questions or thoughts, be sure to leave them in the comment box below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested for more coming up on Defiance. Until next time, Geeks with Games, over and out. I'm gonna take this off some jumps. Woo, I believe I can fly. Sweet jumps, bro. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night. Oh, God. <laughs>